Hi everyone, Papa Stro here. We'll be having a great day or night. Where you're at in the world on this Memorial Day. And uh, hope you guys remember the real reason for this holiday. For all the brave men and women who uh, risked their lives to, uh, for all of us. And uh, forever grateful, always. And uh, we will never forget you and what you sacrificed for all of our well-beings. Uh, but uh, hope you guys are uh, are doing good. Um, I'm doing all right. I just kind of took a break today from everything. Uh, I need a break, really, uh, mentally, physically, etc. But uh, I'm doing good. Uh, much is uh, much needed. Actually, uh, it's been a beautiful day here in the Carolinas, and uh, just taking uh, advantage of everything. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Tim. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Juan, brother. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much. Um, but uh, I remember my dad today, who passed away last year. Um, Oh, so this is also the anniversary of my uh, fiance passing away, Leanne, as well. So it's kind of uh, a lot of emotions <laughs> uh, today, but uh, staying strong. And I know they're both in heaven right now, happy as they can be. And um, they want myself and the family and everybody to uh, continue to be happy. So that's what I'm doing, pressing forward. But you know, remember them out of respect and love. And, uh, you know, I'll see them on the other side, down the road, for sure. But, um, it's really blessed, uh, to be here with you all and, uh, to reflect on everything. It's a real blessing to, to have family and friends like you all from around the world here with me. Uh, I can't express how much you guys mean to me. And I can't thank you enough for your support. Um, uh, so much goes on in life and you got ups and downs and everything but the people that are through it all are still with you supporting you and there for you uh, means the world, it really does because you have acquaintances you have people that come and go in your life and people that say one thing and do another but uh, people that stick around man and they're there for you, man. Cherish them. Cherish them always. Love them always. Never tell them. Never forget to tell them that you love them. Uh, and, um, uh, I, I know I feel like, uh, Dr. Phil sometimes. Uh, people come to me with the problems and everything, which, you know, I don't mind because I love helping people. Uh, it makes me feel good inside to help others. And, um, and some of the th things that come to me with, uh, for example, like, you know, you know, people betray them, turn their back on them, and, uh, and all that. And I, I know what it's like, man. Because a lot of the troubles you guys go through, I go through them too. And I've been there. I've done that. I'm uh, really lucky to be alive on a few occasions, <laughs> quite a few occasions, actually, and still one piece. But, but the grace of God, doing my thing. I'm here with you all. You know, I've, uh, I've had people come up and tell me that, uh, try to deny who I was, to try to deny my family, who, you know, deny that Gorgeous George was related to me, even though my grandfather was the one that smartened me up. <laughs> and, you know, I, to try to do this and do that and deny you and, uh, belittle you and I've had people that uh, try to tell me what to do and how to, to get big but yet they're lucky to get an appearance on the 5 o'clock news where I've been seen all over the world at one point <laughs> listen to that nonsense man really never let anyone or anything belittle you and 
put you beneath what you really are, man. You know what I mean? Never doubt yourself. And don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen. If I listened to all the negative, I would never have been anywhere, really. Hi, everybody in the chat, by the way. But uh, I've, I've been to a lot of the same problems you guys have. I've had people betray me. I've had friends show me more love and <laughs> my relationships <laughs> in, in the past with others. Oh my gosh! And they still show me love. I mean, they, they're more they're loving to me than uh, <laughs> some of my girlfriends have. Oh my god, crazy! And I've been in relationships where I gave and gave, and it was never enough. I've uh, I've been told when I was with in the relationship about people that they couldn't stand but they end up dumping me for them <laughs> right. oh gosh uh, shall I go on um, I've had friends that said they'll stay in touch to the end and once they got a little bit of fame and fortune uh, uh, still La Vista I really haven't heard from anymore some I still don't, haven't heard from I've had people I've helped out that never thanked me they gave me time of day afterwards. And uh, I've had, uh, you know, I've, <laughs> a lot of people, another thing is a lot of people ask me uh, in the past why well, I haven't done much locally and in, in the past. And I was like, because, you know, a lot of, a lot of the promoters in the area I was at were just jerks. <laughs> I got more love from bookings and promotions from outside where I was at and other places and in foreign countries and everything than, you know, I did in my own area. Everybody was too clickish in their own clique, you know what I mean? Uh, and it really wasn't the wrestlers, honestly, as far as the wrestling goes, because, I mean, the wrestlers have always been cool to me. We're like family, you know what I mean? It's just the people in charge and... You know, and and, it, and I've seen so many great talents get overlooked by such prejudiced, such uh, mindsets where, in their mind, they're doing business for themselves than for the audience. You know what I mean? And and that's what we do. What we do for the audience all around the world. I mean, if it weren't for the fans, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. You know, I've had some people try to tell me. And when I was starting the business, how uh, how to wrestle, how to do this and that. Yeah, I'm getting advice from Luthez on the phone. <laughs> Miss me that nonsense, man. Come on. And uh, I've... Uh... Oh, gosh. What else, man? Uh, you know, to... I was going back to people denying the, you know, trying to deny of my... Uh connection with gorgeous george and i was like man like i said my grandfather smartened me up Ram regal dusty Rhodes, they told me to deal as well and it was like <laughs> i was gorgeous george the third for a lot of years man and uh if it went from my grand uncle gorgeous george none of you guys would have been stars none of you guys would even have a place to wrestle at or anything gorgeous george put pro wrestling the map I mean, give me a break. Like, submiss me the nonsense. You know, people don't want to hear the truth, but the truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm damn proud. Mm -hmm. Related to Gorgeous George. I'm very, you know, and I'm damn proud to, to uh, have the people that have helped me through the years. Dusty Rose, Jake Roberts, Jerry Lawler, uh, Jay, Junkyard Dog, uh, you know, yeah, Booker T gave me some good advice, man. It's Sting and um, like I said, I mentioned Luthez and uh, Harley Race. And, I mean, the list goes on, man. I can Wahoo McDaniel. Uh, and I can go on and on. Rock and Roll Express and uh, and, and Cornette. You, you know, Jim Cornette was stuck his neck out for me and, uh, quite a few times. And uh, you know, Sid Vicious. I, I'm just going on and on. And Rick Flair's helped me out quite a bit. 
and Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, uh, I, Piper. <laughs> it's like the who's who, you know. And I can, you know, I've, I've been really blessed to have some good people help me out through the years, and um, and I'm forever grateful for that. And uh, today, you, you want to reflect on that uh, because uh, there are times where you feel. down low and but if you think about it there are people that have risked their lives for you man that have stuck their neck out for you and uh not just you know say with the wrestling but in light the in business and life itself and they, which they didn't have to but they did and you gotta be you gotta be thankful for that be grateful and and, and love and cherish these people man because they're, they're like angels on earth man they are, and I'm forever grateful for everybody that's helped me, man. Everybody. Um, and uh, you know, some some people want to tell me from time to time they get upset because uh, I'm not stuck in this mode. Like, you know, once you go back to do this and go back doing that, and you know, when I was doing everything, it was a time and place for it, right? But like myself and everything else in life, I evolve. Just like life. And we all should evolve. And uh, what, I, what I'm doing today is different from what I did yesteryear. And what I'll do tomorrow is be different from today. You know, we, we all evolve. And we've got to keep evolving. Uh, the audience evolves. Uh, life evolves. And so should we. We should never stop evolving. Be, be getting better at what we do. And I'm proud of what I do. It's, it's, it's great. And uh, I probably have people I've helped along the way. Uh, it tickles me to death when I see people I've helped and advise on television in different parts of the world do their thing. And it makes me feel good. Uh, I vicariously live through their success and happiness. I'm very happy for them. Um, but... Um, I'm real, and I've always been real, you know, uh, I've never, I've, I've made mistakes like everybody else, I mean, I'm human too, right, but uh, I've always been me, and always will be me, um, and just want to let y'all know that, um, And I'm eternally grateful for everybody who's helped me along the way. For everybody I've been in the ring with, everybody I've done business with, everybody I've been on set with, with film with, traveled with. And I'm still making friends, man. It's, just, it's a wonderful thing, it really is. And bumping the people that go all the way to help you, I mean, it amazes me. People like that, and I'm forever grateful for that. And never, people in your life that do that for you, never take that for granted. Love and cherish it, man. Love and cherish it. Um, I got some cool things coming up with film and possible some possible future wrestling uh, bookings and uh, com Comic Cons, conventions, etc. And looking forward to com doing all that. And I'll keep you guys informed, for sure. But uh, I just want to be real with you guys. And let you know how much you guys mean to me. And some of you I haven't heard from in a while. It's okay. We all get busy. But uh, just know who your true friends are and the people that really love you. And keep them in your circle. And uh, I'm like you guys. I've learned the hard way who to trust, who not to trust, who... Uh, Who's there for you? Who isn't? Um, who needs you and who really don't need you? And mm -hmm. the wolves in sheep's clothing and and all that. I've you may have I've been there and done that, man. Trust me. I I know how you feel. I know exactly how you feel. Um, but it's a blessing to be here with you guys. It really is. And uh, I just uh, just want to get a few things off my chest, uh, being it's Memorial Day and 
<sighs> a lot of emotions run through my mind right now, but yeah, just know that you guys are loved, and I'm always be real, real with you guys, always. And um, I mean, people have done me wrong through the years, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, and there's. I mean, there's people that like me, some people that don't like me, some people that want me to fail, fall flat on my face, uh, <laughs> some people don't want me even around anymore. <laughs> but you know what? I'm still here doing my thing. And I'm not going to stop. Lord willing, I'm not going to stop being me. And you should never stop being you. And some people are probably that tough. Because they won't have to live with you and deal with you. Exactly what uh, the naysayers are going to have to do. Live and deal with me. Because I'm still here and I'm always going to be here as long as the good Lord lets me, right? And don't let nobody sort of change you to stop you from your passions and goals in life. I'm not. And, uh, <laughs> this is funny. Like, you see these nickel and dimers trying to tell you how to live and how to be successful and do your thing when, uh, you've got, you've, in all actuality, you've had more success than they have. So, in anything, they should be listening to you. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I know I, I've been in locker rooms where people were talking about wrestling history and all that, and uh, a lot of it, like, I'm sitting right there listening to it. You know, I, I lived it. Matter of fact, I was there for quite a, a bit of it, right? <laughs> and so I, you see people elbow them and say, hey, you know, why don't you talk to this guy? He's like listening in. This guy's been through everything you just talked about. You know, like, oh. I've, I've had a crazy life. But I love it. <laughs> you know. It's uh, great to know they help inspire people because I love helping people and uh, some great people have helped me. So I'm just a little bit giving back. So it's great to see people. You know, some people's success bothers others for some reason. It's really silly and uh, really ignorant to think that way because uh, you should want people to be successful. There's plenty of room for people to be successful. And I'm happy for people being successful. Good for them. And you got naysayers even talking about people that are successful. You know what? <laughs> and the same people talking about people that are, are successful. <laughs> never seen a diamond success in their life. So what, how would they know? Who are they to tell anybody? There's no substitute for experience. And uh, people that have done good for themselves, good for you, man. Keep on doing your thing. Keep on doing your thing. I'm, I'm happy for anybody that has success. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Be grateful for the people that have helped you in your life. Love them. Cherish them. Always cherish them. Cherish the inner circle, man. Cherish your family, from your friends, loved ones. They're there for you. They're always there for you, no matter what. I cherish all of you. Um, uh, let me give you a few updates while I'm here, okay? <laughs> uh, well, uh, tomorrow night I'm going to be in the room podcast on VOCNation.com at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this Thursday night I'm going to be hosting WCW Retro at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on VOCNation.com and Thursday night's discussion is going to be the career of Hulk Hogan a guy that's helped me out a lot as well so can't wait to talk to you guys about Hulk Hogan Thursday night and then Friday night at midnight Eastern Standard Time right here at Facebook uh, will be another installment of the Stro Zone my horror sci-fi show and this Friday night at 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time, the feature will be 
Uncle Was a Vampire, starring Christopher Lee. So please tune in for that. And uh, I'm currently on set for an upcoming film called The Devil's Daughter, which is a Harlequin origin story. And I'm starring as Dr. Jeremy Arkham in that film. And all you Batman fans out there know exactly who that character is, I'm sure. Ah, uh, and a lot of Batman Easter eggs in this film. And it really, I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. So, so far, so good. Production's been great, so... And for more information and updates on the film, just go to facebook.com slash real devil's daughter info. And I should be on set later on this year for the fourth season of the Dust series, which is Stars the Chief and that. And more to catch up on all three seasons, go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash dust series, or to Vail TV at availfilms.com, A V A I L films.com. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna be on set soon for a uh, uh, drama horror short coming up soon. I'll give you guys more info on that as it develops, and also on talks to a, about a pilot and miniseries. And uh, another horror film I'm gonna be in, poss that might be possibly coming out later on towards the end of the year or beginning of next year, is Stench of Iniquity. And which you can check out more on that particular film at facebook.com slash stench of iniquity. And let's see what else. Um, I'll round up my social media. Uh, my official website is thestraw.com, T H E S T R O.com. Um, my merchandise page is thestraw.com slash merchandise. Facebook at Straw the Maestro. Twitter at Sign the Straw. Uh, Instagram at Stro Maestro. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Stro Maestro. And I'm still trying to get that over a thousand subscriber mark so I can do, be more interactive with the chats and everything. So uh, please send people my, my way on the YouTube and just hit that subscribe button. Really much appreciate it. Um, uh, if you'd like to send a donation to me, let's buy me a cup of coffee, tips, etc. And thanks for those who have already donated. Uh, you can send to my PayPal at paypal.me, M as Mary, E as Neat, slash Papa Stro. And all together, it's paypal.me slash Papa Stro. Thank you for in advance for your support and donation. Um... Uh, for bookings, I'm taking bookings uh, for castings for television and film, commercials, uh, wrestling, voiceover, commentary, uh, seminars, comic cons, conventions, uh, radio interviews, charities, uh, autograph signings, uh, appearances, speaking engagements, uh, you name it, I do a lot these days. So if you want to book me for any of those events and then some... Hit me up, uh, direct message me, or uh, email me at strofoya at yahoo.com. That's S-T-R-O number 4-Y-A at yahoo.com. Uh, also, um, if you like to stay in touch, uh, if you like some art, some artwork you like to send, email me my way. Uh, myself, Dorothy, and the gang. Dorothy and Sparky and Ebony all says hello, by the way. Uh, hit, hit me up also in the email or direct message me. And uh, Sparky's got a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash fans of Sparky. Ebony has a Facebook page at, at uh, facebook.com slash Ebony's Doghouse. Dorothy's Facebook page is facebook.com slash Papa's Dorothy. So give them some love. But um, thank you guys for your thoughts and prayers for myself and my family. Uh, much appreciated. Um, 
I love you all very much. And uh, please keep in touch. And if you haven't said hello in a while, come come by, say hi. You know, what I mean, and let me know how you guys are doing. Keep in touch with me. Please uh, forward this video to all your family, friends, and fans around the world. I'm gonna reach out to as many as you guys as I can. Then. Uh, just wanted to let you know I love you all very much, and thank you for being here. It means the world to me. I love you all. And I hope you have an awesome week. Keep in touch. We'll talk soon.